Working on a project like Project Wonderland with virtual worlds, it's important to recognise that different kinds of clients want to connect to a virtual world server. To that end, we've provided different kinds of mechanisms to do that. For example, we have a regular laptop or desktop client. We have a client that you can download via Java Web Start. Last summer, we had an intern working on a web browser-based interface to Project Wonderland. In the meantime, I've been taking a look at other kinds of smaller devices. For example, I was able to show earlier about how to connect a sunspot to Project Wonderland and use that to control the gestures of my avatar. I've also been looking at other kinds of devices. For example, an iPhone or an iPod Touch, such as this one here. So over the past few weeks I've been trying to figure out if it's possible to utilise the, the functionality in a device like this, the touch screen, the accelerometer, to interact with a virtual world. Using the touch screen to act as a simulated mouse and using the accelerometer to control gestures on my avatar. I've had some success with that, so what I want to show you today is an example of how I've been fooling around with Project Wonderland on an iPod Touch. The first thing I need to do is to log in. So now to log in. You can see behind me I've already logged in from my desktop into Project Wonderland and we can use this view to try and get an idea of what the avatar looks like. I'll also be using this small Bluetooth headset to complement the audio on the iPod Touch. So first of all I need to log in from the iPod Touch and if you look closely you can see the iPod Touch login screen. If I click, oh if I press rather, on the, the login button here, which I hope you can see. Did I miss? Let's try again. We can log in and the login process starts. Black screen to start with and then you'll see things start to render. To make things easier to see I'll hold up the iPod in front of the camera so you can see the iPod screen and the main screen that I've already logged in from at the same time. So you can see the avatar logging in and there we are. Yeah, there we are. The avatar is completely logged in, and if I move the avatar to the right, then let me just do that, and I can see the avatar who's opposite me, the avatar whose viewpoint is displayed there on the main screen. I'll move it a bit to the left, and then by tilting the iPod, I can move myself backwards a bit more, and if I give it a shake, I can change my viewpoint, another shake. I can change it to a first person viewpoint. So I'll move my avatar backwards so that it's now out of, move it back a little bit more, out of the viewpoint of the main screen and turn it to the right a little bit so I can see the other user but the user can't see me. And now I'll come forward a little bit more so that I'm back in the screen. A bit far forward, a bit to the right. There we are, I should be a bit more, I think, there, forward, 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 there we are. Okay, so there I'm back on the main screen, if I just my position so that I'm there facing the first user. If I tap the iPod on its right, I can cause my avatar to shake its head. A tap on the back will cause it to shake hands. and a tap on the top will cause it to nod its head. Let's just run through those again. Tapping on the top will shake, nod its head. Tapped on the right will shake. And a tap on the back will shake hands. And just shaking the iPod will give, cause it to wave its hand. So by using the touchpad of the iPod, I can interact with objects in the virtual world. If I rotate my avatar around so that I can see the telephone object on the floor there, a bit more, round it back and round, oh, there we are. I can interact with the telephone using my thumb to press the iPod touch screen, and as I do that, you should see that the phone changes its size as I interact with it. So now let me turn the avatar around so I can interact with the audio recorder. And I can do the same thing. I can press the record button and then I can stop. 
and then I can press the playback button. And if you look closely, you might not be able to see this, but if you look closely at the main screen, you should see that the name tag above my avatar is fluctuating according to when I'm talking, so that you can show that, see that the audio is working from the Bluetooth audio device that I'm wearing. So what we've seen then is by using the iPod and this simple Bluetooth audio device, we can create a client to Project Wonderland. On the iPod we use the accelerometer to control the avatar, but also the avatar's gestures. And we use the touchscreen to interact with objects in the world, such as the telephone and the audio recorder. So, hopefully that demo has given you an idea about the kind of client we could create on a simple device like an iPod Touch or an iPhone. Thanks.